Good evening, everybody. It's Minister Lou. Tonight, we're going to start off as we usually do with a psalm. We are on Psalm number 30. Whew. Goodness. You've only got 120 more psalms to get through together, everybody. <laughs> Um, before we start, though, I recently received a Bible that's new to me. It's from the year of 1875. This sucker's old. It's older than the one that I had. It's the one that I originally was reading out. It was from 1888. So this Bible's got about 13 years on it. It's massive. It is massive. And it's got so much in it. Like, so much. I can't even, I don't even have the time to get into it tonight. But I think we're going to just start reading out of this. And I'm going to start sharing different things that I find in here. Let's begin. <coughs> I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. So he's saying right there, the Lord has lifted him up and his enemies have they can't rejoice over him. They haven't. They're not going to. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee and thou hast healed me. Because he is a healer. That's just my thoughts. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment. In his, fa in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. That is so true. You could go to bed sad as anything and wake up the next happy. It does happen that way. You can't allow this world or the spirits that reside in this world to keep you down. For the Lord waking you up is a joy. And in my prosperity, I said I shall never be moved. Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Only the Lord could do such a thing. This man was in mourning. He was sad. And the Lord has turned it into happiness and dancing. That is an amazing thing for the Lord to do. And this world likes to tell you, Oh, you need pills for this. You need your pill for that. You can't be happy without these. And they're lying to you. They're doing what they can to take your eyes off the Lord. The Lord does bring happiness and joy. He truly does. To that end, my glory may sing praises to thee and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Amen to that. I thank everybody for taking the time to watch this video. 
I really enjoy reading God's Word to you. I enjoy reading God's Word out loud. The first time I read the Bible through, I was just silent, reading. And it, it definitely hits me stronger and different when I'm reading aloud. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, everybody. The time has come to repent of our sins. The time has come to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. The time has come to know who Jesus Christ is, to know who our Heavenly Father is. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys, and our Heavenly Father loves you guys. Shalom.